the armed forces of Cote d'Ivoire as the current name of the armed forces of Ivory Coast the Ivorian military has its roots in the colonial armed forces of French West Africa which were headquartered in Dakar Senegal but possessed bases in several distinct military regions most Ivorian recruits who joined the colonial army were assigned to Senegalese units during this period they served with distinction during both world wars with 20000 ivorian soldiers fighting for the french during world war 1 and another 30000 during world war 2 in 1950 the french government began the process of setting up a specific defense force for the colony consisting of four infantry companies and a light armored unit the ivory coast became independent on the 7th of august 1960 In April 1961, the new government signed the Franco-Ivorian Technical Military Assistance Accord with France, which compelled the latter to assist with the formation of a new national military. It also authorized the continued presence of French troops based in Port Boy and permitted the government to call on French military assistance in the event of external aggression or major internal unrest by the end of 1962. The fledgling Ivorian armed forces had expanded rapidly into 5000 soldiers attached to four battalions. Most of the initial recruits were drawn from the defunct colonial military establishment and had served in various French units, particularly the Marine regiments. They were armed with old equipment donated by France, including two Max Holst Broussard monoplanes, a single Douglas DC-3 cargo aircraft, 15M8 Greyhound armored cars and even a SC497 class submarine chaser conscription was instituted although the large number of volunteers and low manpower requirements ensured it was only applied selectively some of the senior positions in the officer corps and ministry of defense continued to be held by french nationals since the ivory coast could ill afford to divert funds from its economic development programs into the armed forces and was already dependent on France for its external defense the military establishment remained quite modest from 1961 to 1974 defense spending spiraled upwards between 1974 and 1987 and the number of personnel serving with the armed forces increased to 14920 men during this period the air force and navy embarked on a significant modernization campaign An international merchant marine training academy was built in Abidjan and trained personnel from several economic community of West African states governments. In 1997, a collapse in civil military relations became evident when President Henry Conan Bedi dismissed Popular General Robert Gwe on suspicion of disloyalty. 2 years later, an army mutiny led by disgruntled recruits and junior officers escalated into a major coup d'etat. which ousted Bedi and installed Gwe in his place. Gwe subsequently stood for office during a subsequent presidential election, although he attempted to annul the election results when Laurent Gbagbo secured the popular vote. This triggered a civil revolt in Abidjan and two days of street battles between Gbagbo supporters and soldiers loyal to Gwe. Most of the armed forces remained neutral until the third day. When the army's elite units and the gendarmerie announced they would recognize Gbagbo as president of the republic, Gwe conceded defeat, going into exile on October 29, 2000. In September 2002, the Ivory Coast endured a second army mutiny, this time by 750 Muslim soldiers who seized Bouake, citing religious discrimination and grievances against the predominantly Christian government. The mutineers later took control of most of the northern administrative regions, carrying out a brutal campaign of ethnic cleansing and plunging the country into civil war. For a number of years, troops dispatched by France, ECOWAS, and a United Nations operation in Cote d'Ivoire effort enforced a buffer zone between the south and the rebel-held north. President Gbagbo repeatedly demanded France assist him in crushing the rebel forces. France maintained it would not take sides in the civil war but allowed Ivorian military aircraft to cross the buffer zone and attack rebel positions. In November 2004, an Ivorian pilot targeted a French base during an airstrike on Bouake, 
killing nine French soldiers. The French retaliated by launching a follow-up operation to destroy the Ivorian Air Force. In March 2011, a rebel coalition, the forces Nouvelles de Côte d'Ivoire, launched a renewed offensive on the south with French support, sparking a second civil war. The Ivorian army was quickly overwhelmed, and Gbagbo deposed by the rebels. The forces Nouvelles established a new national military, known as the Republican Forces of Ivory Coast. Integration problems arising from the incorporation of various rebel factions into the FRCI, as well as former Gbagbo loyalists, continue to persist in 2014. Some army units launched an ABO.